ever ask God to do something, but you felt like it's not happening or it's taking too long to happen? <laughs> As I was journaling this morning, I was um, just writing down some things that I was reading in my um, one of my books last night. I have like so many journals, but I was reading one from 2022 and some things that I had written down about some things that I wanted to accomplish. Um, some, you know, things that we wanted to do to change our lives and just reading through it, a part of me starts to feel discouraged and like, man, I wrote this two years ago and it hasn't happened yet or I'm not there yet or I feel like I haven't done what I wrote down. I feel like I haven't done it yet. I feel like I have not accomplished it yet. But the more I, I wrote, I kept, the thought came to me about something that, um, that Myron, Myron Golden, that something that he said, and it's actually on a poster on my, on my mirror. I just haven't read it in a while, but and this is me paraphrasing it. It's talking about, um, about a seed saying a seed has to go down before it becomes a tree so it's pretty much saying like when you when you plant a seed you don't you don't see the fruit right away you don't see it growing right away you don't see anything sprouting up right away but what is happening is when you put that seed into the ground it's dark down there it's covered and you can't see anything and it might like it feels like nothing's happening or I'm doing this but I'm not seeing any results and I'm trying this but this is not working but what is happening is that seed is in the soil and the roots are growing down deep into the soil so the place where I am right now even though I feel like I have not accomplished what I want to accomplish or it hasn't happened yet what is happening is that my roots are getting deeper. They are going down and he's changing me. He's changing my, he's changing me so that when I get to that place, I'm, I'm able to handle it. But he's changing my heart about certain things. He's changing my mind about certain things. He's changing my, my thoughts about certain things. And it's, he's pretty much putting things into place so that when he does get us to that place, where where he's taking us that we are we're able to handle it we're able to manage what he's doing and yeah what he's going to be doing through us and in us so another um way of putting it another way that i've heard myron describe it is that you going you were going through the valley and i said it to my husband the other day if you heard my video um i think it was monday it happened or so i probably made that video tuesday morning but pretty much I was I was like babe we're going through the valley that this is the valley because it feels like <sighs> it feels like yeah it feels like you're at a low place and that you don't you don't have everything that you know God has for you but you know that it's a part of the process it's a process that you have to go through it's almost like the way he described it he is he's just, he's using the 23rd Psalm to describe um, like coming down off of a mountain you're in the valley but you're coming down off of that mountain but to get to the other mountain you got to go down into the valley to get up to the top of the other mountain so pretty much it's like God has already given us a glimpse like there's no doubt in my mind like we already know like that we will be millionaires someday like there's no question about that we know that and when you've had a glimpse of that and when you when you know that there are other things that God has for you to do and other work that he has for you and when you are still in a place where you feel like you feel like you're dealing with things that you shouldn't be having to deal with um like the other day Tuesday I was in the classroom and and I was dealing with a with a with a child and it and it almost it almost felt like I was I was dealing with a spirit like a part of me wanted to say I rebuke you in the name of Jesus because 
the personality and the things that was happening, I was looking, I was like, I was like, God, this is, this is a spirit. And I'm like, a part of me is like, why do I have to deal with this every day? But then, but then like the Holy Spirit checked me and, and was like, maybe that's, maybe this is why you're here. Maybe, maybe you got to deal with that spirit or maybe you got to pray over this child or maybe you got to, because it's like, I know I'm going on a different topic right now, but it's like, as a teacher, you come into contact with so many things in the run of a day, so many people, so many children, so many spirits that they, they come with because you don't know what's happening in their homes and they come in with they come in with that. And you don't only you don't just get to go in there and just teach and like la 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 la. No, you have to you have to deal with those personalities and you gotta deal with those you gotta deal with those spirits and still try to accomplish accomplish your job because at the end of the day the administration, the district, they don't care what you deal with every day. All they want to see is data. All they want to see is numbers. And they want to, they not, they are not looking at the big picture of what you are in that room dealing with all day, every day. But I'm, I'm off on another topic. But yes, um, just know that whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish or if you are at that place in your life where you feel like it hasn't happened yet like God is giving you a glimpse of what he has for you or what he's going to do in your life and you feel like it hasn't happened yet or it's 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 happening too slowly just continue to just continue to work on you i remember one of my um of um friend girl of mine i met her at um when we went to see Myron back in 2022 um Shout out to you, Yakenya, if you're watching. I remember um, having a conversation with her and her words to me, and this is probably not verbatim, but she pretty much said, Tamaya, continue to do the work, do the work internally so that it will show up externally. So it's pretty much saying, like, continue to, to work on, on me, on the inside of me, get myself in order, get things that I need to work on and I need to improve and I need to get better at building relationships, conversations, connections, all those things, um, communicating like I'm doing right now, um, work on, work on my internal so that eventually it will show up externally. So, um, I hope you found value in something that I said today. I hope it blessed you or encouraged you in some way. Keep working, keep pushing, keep, keep getting better every day every day is a new day forget about yesterday if yesterday was disappointing yesterday is gone it's a new day and the possibilities are endless expect something great today thank you for tuning in to my minute i'll see you next time